Hello friends, welcome to Excelitex. Today we are going to see another example on what we should not do in Excel. Here we have data of employees and if we observe closely, first we have employee ID 2 and then employee ID 1 and then 4, 3, 5. So now we want to make the data in a correct order so that first we get employee ID 1, then 2 and so on like that. In order to sort this data, most of the Excel beginners do a frequent mistake. They simply select this data of employee IDs and they will go to data then click on the sort option. This is a warning message we get from Excel. It says that Microsoft Excel found data next to your selection. It means that there is some data next to your selection since you have not selected this data it will not be sorted so it is warning you that this data will not be sorted also it gives an option to expand your selection so that the balance data can be selected but few of them click on continue with the current selection this is a very dangerous option now I will select this option and I will click on sort now you can see the data got updated in the correct order but employee ID 2 is John now we can see employee ID 2 as Peter so which is incorrect right so we are completely making the data into a wrong impression this is the biggest mistake done by Excel beginners so let us go back I am using Ctrl Z this is the original order we have now I want to sort this data then I will simply select the header the first header and I will click on sort now you can see as per employee ID the entire data is been sorted so we got Peter employee ID 1 then employee ID 2 John and employee ID 3 Robert and employee ID 4 Akbar employee ID 5 James so whichever the header you select based upon that header the data entire data will be sorted so whenever you want to sort data which has multiple columns remember a simple rule don't select any particular range to sort the data just simply select the header and apply sort either ascending or descending we hope this will help you in your day to day work thanks for watching this video this is created by Team Excelatics. Join Excelatics to Excel in Analytics.